Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about how to make some candlesticks. Let's go! All right, here we are. We're gonna be making these candlesticks like I just said. And uh, I might not make them uh, with these bumps in here. I might, we'll just see. Uh, but I'm gonna start out with two pounds of clay to make candlesticks like this. Number one is they don't have a bottom in them because they're meant to be used with a pillar candle, uh, a pillar candle like this, not a peeler candle. Uh, a pillar candle like this. Uh, these candles are three inches wide and they come in various heights. Uh, and so you have to make sure that you make the the seat in here for that that pillar candle uh, So it's going to finish out a little over three inches wide so that when you're done You can set that candle down in there and it's great if you have a little bit of wiggle room uh, And you want to try to make this as flat as you can in here or at least level so that as you put the candle in there It's going to sit and uh, there you go. You've got a uh, candlestick and I make them in various heights as well um, but today we're just going to make some two pound candlesticks and uh, that's what this one is here. Now this one, for some reason when I made this one, it turns out it, it turned out exceptionally tall. Uh, and also being able to get these bumps in here, which is very decorative. Uh, but uh, I found actually a lot of people just like a really slim, uh, simple candlestick as well. So uh, that's probably what I'll be making today. And then you can play around with the uh, fact of making bumps in it or not, or coming back later when it's leather hard and trimming some design and all those kind of things. But we're gonna focus on getting the, the base of this made without a bottom, like I said, uh, uh, kind of tapered in all the way up to the top and then flaring this out to about probably four inches wide on the outside uh, dimensions and that will shrink down to be, have enough room to fit this, maybe four and a quarter, so we'll see something like that. So uh, let's get started. So like I just said in making these, I'm making them without a bottom, so I'm pushing all the way down to the bat or to the wheel head, whichever you're using, opening that up, and then I'm going to start pulling this back in from there. I'm going to pull this up, but I'm, I'm probably not going to pull this quite as thin as I would pull something if I was making a vase. Because I'm going to be tapering this in a whole lot, and it will help to have a little bit of thickness there to help it not to buckle as I taper that in. So I'm going to do one more light pull, starting at the very bottom. Try to get some of that weight out of the bottom. get about midway I'm not really gonna push use much pressure I'm just gonna finish through with the uh, with the pull but without hard with uh, hardly any pressure at all okay so right now we've only got uh, about seven and a half inches in height but now we're gonna start tapering this in and we'll gain a lot more height that way I'm gonna add water just to the outside with my sponge here And when I start tapering, I'm not going to go all the way to the top because this needs to be flared out at the top anyways. And there's no point in bringing all that in and then all the way back out again when we want to bring it back out. So. Probably going to go ahead and form the top now and then come back and uh, taper it in a little bit more after I get this top part formed. So let's see what kind of width we got here. I'm thinking about four and a quarter is what I'd like to have and that's what I got. About four and a quarter on top right now. That will shrink down to make sure I have plenty enough room to fit a three inch pillar candle on top of that. So what I'd like to do now is just kind of 
I like the shape from here up to about here. I want to taper it in a little bit more just on kind of the, the top half of that. about got that now I'm gonna come back to the bottom and make me a little foot at the bottom here I'm gonna kind of roll that up to give me a little bit of a, a bevel at the bottom there Here we go. With just two pounds of clay, I got nine and a half inches tall and four and a quarter wide. And I think a pretty good looking candlestick and it won't be super heavy. Like I said, we gained a lot of, uh, saved a, a lot of clay by uh, leaving out the bottom on it. And of course, making these on, on bats will severely help you because trying to pick that up off the wheel without a bottom in it would be pretty tough. All right, here, let's see if we can make another one and match the height of that. If we can match the height of that one on this one, then we'll get adventurous on the next one and try to put some design to it while we're throwing it. moment we're gonna find out I didn't measure it the whole time nine and three eighths <laughs> we're close we can get it there we go we got it <laughs> I knew I was going to be close, but an eighth of an inch off isn't bad, but we got it there. That's a pretty good pair. All right. Well, as I promised, coming up next, we'll try to get a little more adventurous. All right. Start placing your bets in the comments about how tall this one's going to be. I think I can get it the same height as the other ones, but not sure. probably already know it's a pretty good size nine and three eighths it's almost there I was wrong I didn't get nine and a half so that's pretty darn, that's pretty darn good I think for doing the uh, the decoration in it still getting nine and three eighths and uh, 
now to make a matching one for this one. All right, guys, once again, place your bets. Can I make it the same size as the last one? And being all fancy schmancy with the bubbles and the bumps. Guys, I know that was totally not fair of me to do that, but hey, you got to have some anticipation and excitement in your life, and I'm just here to help you. You know, some of y'all have been on YouTube for, for five or six hours watching videos, and you, you just, you know, one after the other, and you need a little excitement. You need something to anticipate, so here you go. You got it. <laughs> I know it's mean. Okay, okay, here we go. I'll show you the finished result. Okay, here we go. Just hold on a second. Let me let me flip the camera around, and uh, we'll do. Oh, actually, be right back. All right, guys, here we go. Some sweet gimbal swooping action. Down to two perfectly identical. Yeah, you know, close enough. <laughs> There you go. There's the two fancy candlesticks with a vehicle driving by in the background. <laughs> hey, nine and three eighths on both of them. Didn't even uh, have to adjust either one of them to get the same height. And down here we got the other two, the first two that I made, and then the uh, the uh, the first fancy quote unquote one I made, which I don't like at all, but somebody will like it. All right, there you go. Candlesticks, fancy ones, straight ones, ones that are the, that are the same height. Uh, hey, we got it done. Appreciate you guys being here and supporting the channel. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe before you go if you enjoyed what you saw today. Hey, and if this, if this inspired you and this helped you, feel free to hit the thumbs up button, share this video as you see fit. And uh, if it really inspired you, go make some amazing pots. Hey, and if you get a chance and you make something after you watch one of my videos, uh, you watched it and it really helped you and you go make what we talked about, share that with me. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, of course, that's where you're at now. So uh, feel free to share that with me, I'd love to see it. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Are you getting dizzy yet? I might be just a little bit. Oh my gosh. All right, we gotta stop. All right, see you. Bye.